Hello and welcome back again to some more Chained Echoes. My name is Ben. I am the RPG Peddler. We are still here in Victor Scenario, which is turning out to be, I guess, the equivalent uh, of Cyan and Sabin Scenario, where theirs were just like way longer than the other, the other two for Final Fantasy VI. But either way, we're having a good time. Smiles all around. Actually, think we may be done here. Now that we went halfway across the world. Oh, hey, here's a. We did it. Who am I? I'm the merchant you met at the other entrance. Followed you all the way through the mines. Yes, I was on the lorry thing as well. Oh my, nobody ever notices me. My mother was right when she said I have a charisma of a box fly. Anyway, you need something? Not if you're selling the same ex exact stuff. Do not believe so. Oh, we do have some deals. Heavy armor. Shielded mail. That looks to be it. That torment on the horizon? Yes, a rare sight. Normally it is shrouded in clouds. Isn't it called the rainy... It isn't called the rainy city for nothing. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna hold off on equipping that. Well... Yes, I could go ahead and do it. Ooh. But he has something equipped. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Realistically, though, Rob could use it. His health is still so low. He probably can't equip it. No, he can't. That's fine. Oh, they're little chicken hats. Ooh. of damage. Let's see what paralyzed those. Okay, it did paralyze them. Nice. You know, I'm starting to wonder if that ultra move thing doesn't apply to the party and it's just for Keelian. If that's the case, maybe it's not that good. I guess it would be kind of, um, kind of broken if it went for everybody. Oh, they're lone eggs too. Interesting. It's about to hatch. We don't want that. I have a feeling I might need health region in this one. Nappy time. Let's go ahead. Yeah, there we go.
should be all she wrote. Got a little secret here. Break extender. Um, or anything? I guess not. Looked like there was a little pathway. Okay. Oh, they didn't die. we made it to the end finally sir victor i just remembered this path i walked this way a hundred times you've been here before yes a long time ago when magicians were no rarer than mer mercenaries i'm an r as you know i've studied the at the university of nisa lived in a village outside the city and walked the way down there to the university every single morning road turned right over there but now yeah it doesn't look like there's a where Nisa once stood, there's nothing but a huge crater left. It's called the Great Chasm. Happened around 500 years ago. Once upon a time, Volandis was a united land, a neutral state where nobles from all over the world came to study the magical arts. After the fall of the city, however, various lords and ladies came for the land themselves. Since then, peace has never really reigned here again. What exactly happened? I heard stories of an earthquake. This is one of the theories. It is said that the city, protected by a magical shield, sank at one piece and is still standing at the bottom of the crater. Should be easy to check, shouldn't it? Once again, you have no clue, thief. Climbing down the cliffs is impossible. Dense fog box view and the uncontrollable winds smash every airship against the walls. If that's not enough, mighty wyverns have found their new home in this crater full of miasma. And even that's not the worst. Indeed, as Nodal has built its nest down there. A dragon, one of the seven true kings, he too was attracted by the miasma and has been living down there ever since. This is what dragons do most of their time. He sleeps in a bed of ether. Next time you plan to raid a place, you could at least show some respect and learn some facts. Your ignorance is downright disgusting. God, Rob is such a douchebag. Oh, come on, I've had enough of... Uh-oh. An arrow, who goes there? Only a gang of common robbers. Open your pockets and show me your gold. Only metal you'll get from me is the steel of my sword. Ertoma, look at that. Little Rob, we haven't seen each other in a long time. You know him? Former knight of my father. After the war ended a year ago, he, he betrayed us. Did not betray anyone. It was your father who could not pay us. Only thing we can blame for, for is that we followed his lies for far too long. Let me guess, after the war reserves were empty, you were promised land as payment. Without a winner, there were no castles to give away. We were lied to and exploited. We were wrong to pay him heed. You do not deserve any payment. You were paid to win the war, not lose it. I see no lie in this. Keep your gold for all I care. We'll take the lad hostage. Try it. Another word you won't be able to keep. All right. Into the fray once more. Guess we should probably take the bandit out first. Uh, 
Um, I may have screwed up already. Okay, I think we're good. Go ahead. Heal Rob. Red Poison. Oh, hey. Um... I'm not entirely certain what this does. Should we blow it up? Could we not? Oh, okay. That's cool. So if we leave it there, then it should blow up on them. Oh, he, he hit it back. Oh, no. Well, that sucks. Dagummit. Maybe paralysis will work. What does Paralyze even do? Like, it's not doing anything. Just getting my freaking butt handed to me. They're getting 8,000 turns. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. Then I guess I'll heal myself. He's probably going to do another bomb. Okay. Hmm. Now let's do it. Maybe this will take him out. All right, he's gonna be done. Nice. All right, that should help, specifically with the bomb, with the bomb deal. Might as well see if Paralyze does anything. So far, I have not been impressed. Oh, okay. It actually did something. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. that it can work on bosses. We're 
We're doing massive damage to them now. He's paralyzed. I forgot that I had that uh, crystal on. Go ahead and shoot this bomb over there. Wonder what happens if we hit it again. Oh, he must be. Oh, what a what a nice finish. Just look at yourself and where your greed has driven you. Greed? Quite the opposite. We did not fight for money or for land. We fought for our homeland and for our lord. We were loyal knights. Your father was unable to pay us, so for many years we fed our families on honor and the hope of victory alone. We did so proudly. With the end of the war, our hope died. He could not keep his promise. Not our decision to cast away the oaths we gave your father. No. Your lord father has been strangling our oaths for years by himself. Don't you understand? We needed food to keep our families alive. We cannot live on hope and honor alone. But you apparently seem to be living very well in blackmail, robbery, and murder. Do not speak of honor. You are deaf. You are dead. Leave him, Rob. For what reason, Sir Victor? Out of mercy. Mercy, get out of here. I spit on your pity. You will feel my vengeance. Remember that. Better we move on before some of them show up. We should arrive soon, right, Rob? Yeah, it's not far. Hope other rangers to get there as well. All right. Well, we definitely got to uh, at least start Sienna's. Cursed mission. It's not worth the money. If they survive, they'll make it without my help. I'm out of here. No signs of them, not even their bodies. Maybe they were already escaped? Not that it matters. Once their wanted posters are up, it won't take a week until they hang from the gallows. Hmm, they don't need... Don't they need eyewitnesses for the mugshots? We are both standing closest to them, but do you really remember what they look like? I don't. How'd you mention it? Not really. That could be a problem. For a moment, I thought this could get troublesome, but it looks like the matter has settled itself. I only remember that woman in the back had red hair. What? Carried a sword of the Suna and wore a red dress, right? True. Also, her eyes were green and she had a birthmark under her left eye. If I had to guess, I would say she was about... Yeah, that's pretty good. No wonder they don't remember what the... They stared... They were staring only at me. So at least this one mug shot should work. Soon she'll find herself in jail and there's no way to escape that fate. That's right. She would have to do a truly heroic deed to be pardoned. Yes, something like finding the real princess bring her safely to her brother in Thormund. Yes, dang it, I get it. I'll help the princess. What was that? Maybe I can catch her at the right rose end that Sir Victor talked about. I could still escort them through the Fjord Woods. I believe there's a town east of here that might be way across the canyon. I just wanted to get the oily mango. Alright, let's check our skills out. We have two... All right. We got a single target. Okay. Once a battle. Physical attack dealing extra three times on paralyzed targets. Raises critical chance by 15% for five turns. That seems... That seems very good. Hmm. All of these sound good. I think I'll do that and this for now. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, consider subscribing. We'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.